this vlog kind of quickly because my son is having his little man tantrum moment. So anyways, y'all, uh, in the headlines, and I'm not sure if you guys paid attention, but China just launched their second missile in two weeks. And um, it's not just China, it's Japan and Korea and the U.S. as well. So I know what your next question is. Well, what the fuck does that have to do with the U.S.? What does it have to do with me? Because we need to start preparing. Obviously, this is not looking good. And I don't doubt that it's a matter of time before it hits the United States. You know what that means? No gas. You know what that means? They're going to blow out the energy plant, which means no light for you. What does that mean? Less food and less and less of everything. So y'all really got to stop with the petty fucking political differences. Y'all really got to stop with the racism against each other. Because guess what? When you need to survive... I don't care if you black, white, Hispanic, Asian, European. I don't care what descent you come from. Because the bottom line is, if you need to survive, the color of your flesh ain't going to help that. Okay? So that needs to stop right away. Period. And the whole bullshit political differences. Oh, I'm Democrat. Oh, I'm Republican. I know more than this one. That bullshit needs to go. Okay? Straight the fuck up. All right, now let's get down to business now that I got some attention here. So, how does it pertain to us? Because guess what? As soon as it hits U.S. soil, which it will, most homes in the United States, interestingly enough, are not built to withstand nuclear warfare. But I know on the East Coast, most of the homes over there have basements because of the tornadoes. They got an advantage over the rest of us. Okay. All you need is to get adequate water supply for close to up to a year, if not two. Which I don't doubt many of the preppers and other folks have. Um, but a lot of y'all don't got multiple children. A lot of y'all don't, you know. And if you do got multiple children, it's ten times harder to do. So understand that. But... I don't doubt that within a reasonable amount of time, we're going to have to get plywood. We're going to have to board up our windows. We're going to have to adequately secure our homes. Okay? Because our houses are not built to withstand the blow of nuclear warfare or missiles of any kind. Okay? That's the first and foremost. Now, we can now discuss... You know, the other aspect of this, which is survival, right? Survival is prepper skills. Um, now, y'all, are don't forget. It's not just China. It's China, Korea, Japan, and the U.S. Four. And I know, right now, the U.S. is over there training. They just launched something in the air as well, which is what I think caused all this. Um, turmoil okay um, and y'all I'm gonna tell you right now things are looking really bad and the guy in the office right now who's repping us his job is like trash I'm just saying for what it is because any good president would not be leading its people or its military to warfare at all they would be working with NATO. They would be doing what needs to be done in order to achieve world peace, not chaos, animosity, and hatred, and warfare. It's the complete other side of the spectrum. Okay? But I'm going to tell you right now, our homes are not engineered for survival. So more than likely, we'll need plywood. If you're blessed enough to get plexiglass, do that shit. You're going to need adequate water supply, which, by the way, is at risk because nationwide we're having these catastrophes left and right. Nevada just faced one of our own, and we were a hair thin from struggling with water. Lake Mead is really stupidly low to where they're finding human remains at the bottom of the lake. Okay? Let that sink in. Okay? A lot of y'all don't know what Project Harper is. It's manipulation of the weather. And if you really need to know... The airport for their jet 
to release those chemicals is um in Atlanta in a hidden secluded airport which by the way is guarded I also need you guys to look up what Project Bluebeam is and you guys are gonna need a bunch of weapons because whether you I don't care if you're a Democrat I don't care if you're Republican nonpartisan the Green Party what the fuck ever because none of that is going to matter once survival becomes of the essence. Okay? You're going to need adequate water for up to a year and a half, if not longer. You're going to need food that doesn't go moldy. Another good example of what you can do is get a lunchbox that is like a cooler. Wrap whatever food you got in there that doesn't go moldy. Put it in a bag. Put it in there. And put it somewhere that you and your loved ones are only the ones who know. And believe me, there's going to come a point or a time when people start stealing people's food and their weapons. And you don't want that to happen to you. So you got to put these things where only you know. And if you got to bury it in dirt, you better fucking do it. Okay? Those are some of the most top things you can do for survival. Um, and because it's going to be nuclear warfare, you don't want to get fallout on your skin. It can burn you and it can kill you within seconds. Jeez, I would say it's no different than a fucking volcano. Jeez, man. In Italy, the citizens in Italy, they're not doing good either. Uh, the Stromboli volcano just erupted. So it is little by little, they're using these black flags as a way to incite this stuff. I don't know for the life of me why you guys can't understand that. But it's Democrat versus Republican in America. But you guys ain't got the mentality to put that bullshit the fuck aside so that we can work as one unit, one nation, and work together for survival purposes. We got a nation of children that are relying on us. And you guys are going to be more worried and have the audacity to put politics before children's survival? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Stop with that childish bullshit. Enough with the Democrat versus Republican versus what policies and this and that. Because guess the fuck what? Once nuclear warfare and civil war break out, ain't none of those motherfucking policies going to help you at all. So just stop. And start fucking helping your children to emotionally, psychologically, and physically learn how to survive these things. Alright? You don't want to get fallout on your skin because it can get into your skin and it will poison you within seconds and you will be dead. You, and if you are stuck outside for whatever reason, which most construction workers are, you know, or anybody who has an outdoor type setting job. Typically, you are outdoors, so if this does happen to you, <clears throat> you need to seek shelter right the fuck away in a big building. Like here, we got the advantage because we got casinos and things and parking structures that go underground and things like that. That is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Big buildings like that with structures like that where you can be under there and be okay. And don't take your clothes and let it touch your skin. Because the minute it does, it won't be no different than you standing like an idiot under that debris and you getting it all over you. You'll be dead within seconds. Don't be stupid. Also, because the power grid in the United States and each and every one of the 50 states is going to be blown the fuck out, you are going to want to buy large candles. You are going to want to buy a lot of flashlights. Things like that. You want to teach your children and your spouses or significant others or family members how to make a fire if the case arises to where you need it. You're also going to want to stock up on camping gear because at some point or another, we're going to have to be out of these fucking houses regardless of the fact. And I can guarantee fucking to you almost 99% of you don't got what it takes to survive outside of a physical home. There's very few of us. They know how to do that. And typically the way it is, is most of us are either preppers, like myself, 
activist like myself, which I'm not I'm not making myself seem like I'm fucking better than anybody because these are just the titles that I have. I'm a prepper and I'm an activist. It's just who I am. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. Fuck no, I'm not better or above anybody. I know that shit. But at the same fucking time, I can guarantee you, most of you don't, y'all don't possess the skills to survive without a home covering you. That's just a reality. I'm not above nobody. I know that shit. And the only one that's above me is God. And that's just the bottom line. But like the scripture says, with God, everything is possible. And y'all got to trust and believe to receive. But when it comes to survival, those are a few things you can do. And if you're blessed to get the, you know, debris off, you know, your clothes and you survive it, throw it in the washer, take a shower immediately. You know, give yourself a moment. Calm the fuck down because a blast can blow out your fucking hearing too. And that's another thing. If you're outdoors when this shit goes down, it can make you go deaf. What you fucking gonna do if you, you can't understand what the hell's being done or said? Most of you don't know sign language. You know, usually it's the hearing impaired that know. And it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty um cool gift to have, you know, to understand and be able to do sign language. But 99.% of y'all in the U.S. don't know sign language. So two things, if you're outdoors, if you're a construction worker, if you got an outdoor job, you're going to want to be in an A, un run to your closest building, seek shelter, stay there, and when you're lucky enough to be indoors where there's some kind of, you know, whether it be, you know, a hotel room, um, I don't know, anywhere that provides shelter and clothes, wash your clothes, shower yourself, don't let the freaking fall out, touch your skin because you will die. You need to be careful. And this is for the large sum of you that will survive this. Now, if you don't pay attention to the shit that I'm telling you, you're going to be lucked out. And it doesn't matter if you want to call me a psycho. It doesn't matter if you want to call me a fucking nutbag. I'm insane. I'm crazy. This and that. Because guess the fuck what? The only one you're going to be hurting is yourself and only you. Because I, I know the skills necessary to survive. Whereas a lot of you do not. And I know it sounds fucking wretched. I know it sounds scary as fuck. But guess what? That's what's happening. And guess what else? We have a nation of children who are relying on us adults to keep our shit to fucking gather to ensure their survival. So Democrat and Republican or, hey, I don't like you because you got dark skin. All that got to go, period. We got no more room for racism. We got no more room for political bullshit fucking differences. One organization towards the other. No.